Oh, beautiful sun. Beautiful morning sun. Mm -hmm. All the nice flowers around. Place uh, the pathway is under construction. And there's our starting town right here. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Nice new morning. Hello, everybody. Hi. I'm the Missing Sock. Welcome back for our Minecraft for creation, relaxation, and fun. And we're creating our Minecraft story at the moment. So, yeah. So, since our, this is our now our second episode, and uh, some of the fellow builders have been busy helping out the villagers. Looks like upgrading some of their farms. We've got some flowers around the area, too. So the wild grass has been cleared away. Yeah. And we've added a lot of doors to places, if you remember, on our nice wooden floor. Gonna have to help out the villagers so they start uh, being comfortable and happy enough to start having more families, more children, and then we'll have more villagers. In the future, we'll build them some houses and everything. Some more houses, because that's something else that more families need. <laughs> more houses. So we'll do that. Yeah, so I'll see you and have a look around. Nice new morning. Mm -hmm. All alone, just us, me and you, and, uh, and the villagers too. Looks like a nice peaceful day. Big got into the village. <laughs> yeah. So these houses are doing much better. Much better. They still got all their lighting in there, which we need. So for those of you that don't usually play at all, we are surviving, and in the survival mode, when it gets dark, you have to watch out for the monsters. Uh, and bad things that can show up in the darkness. But as long as you light up the way, light the bath, and light the homes, you're okay. So that's why we, all these torches are all over the place right now. What do we have right now? We've got a poppy. And some seeds. we got some starting stuff. We're just a new newbie player. Helping out villagers. I think they're already pretty happy that we've shown up here. This path needs big help. I, I had to take these guys out. <laughs> they were stuck in here. Yeah. Hmm. Do we have a shovel yet? No. We have to get a shovel. We have to get some stone. Let's see if we can find there's a, the community house. So we should have a the builder creator house around here. For everyone to share. Uh, I think it would probably be this one. The one that's closest to where where we appear in this strange new world. Let's have we go. Ah, big upgrades. We spent one of the starter nights in here, if you guys remember. Yeah. And now there's a mine. Excellent. Lots of stone. I probably could go down to the mine and get it, but I bet you I don't have to, see? <laughs> Our friends have been hard at work. Lots of stuff. Some lava, some diamonds, some arrows. Wonder if the diamonds were found or if they were from the village or, or another village. Seeds, some other produce. Yeah, we've got some apples. We'll put our apples in there. Mm -hmm. Put away some of our other stuff too. What else? Oh, some redstone and some lapis lazuli. I think you mainly use that for uh, uh, dyeing things. And redstone, you can use that for all kinds of things and wiring in the game. It's kind of like so you can connect up systems, but we'll get to that in the future. Yep. I'm a new newbie player, but in a sense I played a long time ago and, and got pretty far and made some amazing creations and I hope to make them better this time around with you guys. Yeah. But now, since those days, they've added in so much. And we're going to check all that out. And uh, I don't know much about it, so we'll discover it together. Oh, I do know that I forgot our stone. There we go. Let's get a stack of stone. Maybe we'll come back here in a minute. Yeah. After we make some tools. Let's see. So it was a stick. A <laughs> single stick. Well, we'll just take that stick and we'll put the sticks back in it. There's some oak. Uh, we'll put this away in a moment. And the seeds. We'll put those with the other seeds. Okay. If 
find some food too. Let's go in here. Into our crafting table. Crafting bench. And maybe maybe we'll make a few things. We'll set ourselves up a little bit. So we need a stone shovel. Just to get going. Another one. And one to actually use. I'm gonna switch that with our axe. Put our bed away for the moment. And the doors away. And the wooden shield. We'll put that up here too. Okay. Put all that stuff away in a moment. Alright, now let's see. What other things do we need? We need a new another pickaxe. A backup one for that one. If we're gonna be chopping into anything, we're gonna need some extras after we break them. They get worn down. Which is why I think I might take yet another shovel. Okay. Well, we got a sword. It should be okay for now. We have an axe. Maybe we should build another axe? Yeah. A backup axe. There we go. We are set for that. Alright. Let me move a little bit up. Have a little coffee. Hmm. Can help. Sounds peaceful. We should check if it's uh, still daytime. Yep, yep, still daytime. So when you're in survival mode, you can um, keep it peaceful somewhat by going to bed. Look at these beds. They're all already nice and put in here. And by going to sleep, you can make it, you know, just like when you go to bed. It becomes magically the next day. And that works on Minecraft. Even on multiplayer servers. Even on internet online servers. As long as everybody on the server hops in a bed at the night time, it should automatically switch to day. It's pretty cool, I think. And if you don't go to bed, then you can stay up all night. It's up to you. Okay. Now, like I said, it's been a while, so I don't know. Like, I know there's fishing pools and all kinds of awesome stuff, but I'm not sure we need any of that right now for the creations that we're going to be doing. So... We will take a stack of stone with us, just so we have it. And probably a stack of dirt, yeah. Did we see any other dirt? Oh, yeah, we did. Put that dirt with that dirt. Now it looks like it's starting to become darker, something. Oh, there I go. I like the sunsets. It's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Time for bed. Fast days. Sun just changed to orange. And the moon will be rising. I think right there, yeah. Alright, well let's let's hit the hay. I don't think our friends will mind us using this. I think this is for everybody. This is the community home, so we'll just spend the night here for again. In the nice new upgraded house. There we go. Daytime. Alright. Let our sword. It shouldn't be needed. Let's listen. Everybody okay? Everything alright in the village? In the beginning it's hard to keep these villagers alive. As you guys seen in episode 1. When you're not set up. It's much better when you find them and you're already set up. You already have gear to help them. And we did not. So it's kind of quiet. wonder if we've lost more of them. I know I've seen one wandering around. We should maybe fence them in. Now, if we do lose them, we, that's okay. When it becomes a ghost town, we can get them back. You know, we can find them zombies and cure them, but that's, that's advanced stuff. That's far ahead of where we are now. You need, you need to be set up for that kind of stuff. But yeah, there we go. There's a green guy there. There's some of these guys. Hey, how you doing? What are you? You're a butcher. Cool. Away the sword. Sorry, I was just making sure you guys are okay. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, another butcher. Yeah, still a butcher town. Butcher town. Yeah, look at pig. <laughs> that's why maybe that's why there's a pig in here. He's hiding it back here. You don't become attached to this guy. I got a feeling in this town he's not safe. <laughs> yeah, and these green guys, you can't click on them, I've learned. And I believe they're called uh, Nitwits, I think, unfortunately, is their nickname. Sorry, man. It's not me to give you that name. 
but uh, yeah, they're kind of useless. But at the same time, they're part of our population. They help increase the population. They'll they'll have families and children and stuff. So, so they're not completely useless as some people think. They just don't have a job like these guys. Leather worker. All right, we got a leather worker. Makes sense in a butcher town. Another one of the green guys. Keeping conversation going. Good. 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 Another butcher. All right, these guys are doing good. Excellent. All right. Now back to it. So, you know, this is the beginning's kind of like this for me. I, I wander around, I get a feel for it, you know. That's how you don't get lost, too, sometimes. Um, in a sense, you know, you start to get to know the layout and which house is where. And just because we wandered around a little bit, I now know this is our... Well, I know the door's open. <laughs> but I know this is our home. Our temporary home, anyway. Our community home. Should we have a peek down there? I think you guys are curious, right? I'm curious. Let's have a look. Still gotta find some, oh, oh, I know one something we forgot, you probably noticed earlier. Torches, we need more torches. Yeah. We'll fix that when we go up. Oh, I heard a spider, but that should be okay. Lava. Oh. Lava. 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 Yep, that's lava. Oh, and that's iron, right beside it. lava. <laughs> Still more lava. <laughs> ah, well I guess that's a marking system then. We'll run down here. And when you run it uses up your food faster. So we've got our life down there on the bottom left, all our hearts. And then on our right, the little drumsticks there, that's our food. That's our hunger level. And when it gets to empty, you don't want that. It can hurt your hearts, and eventually hurt you a lot. And it affects your speed, usually I do believe. At a certain point I cannot run anymore, but that's okay. So, people have been, this is where a lot of that rock all came from. A lot of the redstone and a lot of that stuff up in the chests. This is where it came from. And the mine. Just have a quick peek at the end, I think it's just a mine in progress. And this cobblestone is put there in place to probably keep the lava from flowing in. It takes a while to clean out the lava or to put dirt over it. But you can also use it for fuel sources too. Put it in your oven and cook stuff with it. It's a great fuel source. Being that it's already there anyway, it saves you coal using it. Instead of just throwing dirt on it, why not take it in a bucket? <laughs> it's funny, a bucket can transport it, but magical buckets. And then you can put it in one of these ovens. Yep, these ovens empty. These ovens are empty. So, I think um, we need we need a couple more tools that we forgot. We need, we need a, a hoe. A hoe. There's a hoe. A stone hoe. All right, that'll do for now. Hmm. Now there was something else, wasn't there? Yes, there was, there was. There was, there was, there was. Let's just get some more wood. And we'll make more sticks. There we go. All of them. Forgot how to do that. Now I remembered. Now we need more torches. Gotta make torches. We need coal. There's coal. So we'll take that. Oak. Oak. Yeah, that puts away. And... Now do we see any more food? There's bread. Yay, bread. And bread's right there, so we can make some more bread. We'll have to go farming and make some more bread. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Mutton, raw mutton. All right, let's grab this. There's another stone over there. All right, multitasking a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Some torches. 
Let's get a nice stack of torches this time. So 62. And 64. There we go. Hmm. Well, we're going to be taking a journey to that other village soon. So, might be a good idea to make up some of these these uh, torches while we can. Because it takes a lot to light up a village. And hopefully maybe somebody's already lit it, but they might not have. So we have to assume that we may have to fix it ourselves. Right? I think so. There we go. So now we got lots of torches. We got our bed. Beds are important to survival, so we can go to sleep at night. We're going to get rid of those extra tools. It doesn't look like there's any a junk box around here that I've seen anyway. It's kind of closest to it, I suppose. Hmm. Well, it'll do for now. We'll put that away in there. And we'll put the coal back. Mm -hmm. hmm. Not sure where all the other things are. It looks like there's some things not quite here. But we'll just put the puppy there. Out of our way. Okay, bread. Bread, I think, is made by putting them in a row. There we go. And we can make bread. It's funny, without even cooking it. There are plenty of foods that you do have to cook, but for whatever reason, bread you don't have to cook. I think it's because it's one of the original foods that was in the original game from the beginning, before you cooked food. I guess. So there we go. I used up a bunch of the wheat. That's okay. We'll, uh, We'll do some farming and make it back. All right now. So we're getting ready to take a trip. Oh, there we go. Oh, and the sun. It might be tomorrow though. It's hard to say. I think it'll probably be tomorrow because it, it takes time to get us ready. But it looks like uh, everybody's well lit now. So, so it looks like our beginning village has been helped out quite a lot. And they need more. That I'm gonna, but they need to. Uh, they need a fence, and they need more houses, more streets, more stuff. We can maybe help them out to build them. Um, some of the villages have a church, and um, um, they also have uh, blacksmiths and um, all kinds of things. And this village does not, so we might build it for them. Now that said, they do have two libraries, strangely enough, so they like to read. But we'll help them with some other things. Maybe build them some more. Um, farms while we're at it too. I think that could be interesting. I think. So. Yeah. Now. And the farms I think grow extra fast near a village too. If I remember right. But it looks like it's the beginning of the next day that we're going to have to look at all that. That looks a little uneven, doesn't it? it just kind of sticks out right there. Yeah. I think these days with a shovel you can right click. No? Hmm. Maybe not. No, that's to irrigate it. <laughs> huh. I thought it made coarse dirt, but. I might be wrong. No, nope. doesn't look like it does. Well, time for bed. We'll have to figure that out soon. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll go to sleep. Gotta protect those villagers. Keep anything from showing up. Oh, look at the bright new morning sun. Yeah, pointing right through that window. Very nice. Yep, very nice. All right, so we've got uh, stuff to take with us, stuff to put away. I was thinking I need to find that wood again. And maybe make some more doors, just in case. Just a few more. Eight doors. 
Hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Eleven doors. That should be plenty. Just because a lot of villages tend to not have the doors, as you guys seen, so now we'll be ready to help them out with that. Now we're gonna need more wood. But we might be able to chop some down along the way. Or when we get there, I hope, I think. But just to be a little bit prepared, we got some light to bring the villagers, got some oak to protect them, got a bed, we got a stone axe. We might want another one, but we can make some more soon enough. Should be okay. We've got some backup of our other gear. Of our beginning stuff. We're gonna need more. Yeah, should be okay. Let's have a bite to eat. Yum yum. Fig yeah. Homemade bread. <laughs> Alright, out we go. Doesn't look like that works. And the pickaxe or the uh, stone hoe doesn't quite do that either. Yeah. Should we? Oh, they're not fully grown anyway. I was gonna say, should we do a little bit of farming before we go? Where the bread came from, but it looks like they're actually still kind of growing over there too. We'll have to check out the crops. They, had, they, I think they had beets and all kinds of stuff. Okay, well, let's wander. Let's wander on. So, let's see. I believe if I can reacquaint myself, let's see if we can find out where that other faraway village is. I might give it names, but for now, this would probably be our in our capital, our home village in our new land. Oh, Mr. G, <laughs> over there. Sheep wandered in the village. Because I think we're going to build a castle between these two villages and then see if we can grow these villages and help them out and build them towards our castle and make it one big happy kingdom, perhaps, for that lucky. So, just kind of looking around, trying to get a feel for where we are. I believe it's that way. Far away. Hmm. Well, we're gonna go off to have to wander. Go have a look. Now our hearts would come back if we ate some more. But we don't really need to eat some more right now. That's sugar cane. We can make paper from that. Looks like somebody's already been planted again. That's good. You can trade the villagers with that too. Certain villagers, librarians, makes them very happy. They just need to be growing their water. Hmm. Excellent. Excellent. Now, I'm second guessing just a little bit on what we need. We can get more wood on the way, but maybe you know, maybe we should get rock. There's plenty of it here. And it's very handy stuff sometimes. So that should be good. Right there. Hmm. Let's just take ten of those with us, just in case. And hopefully that's good enough. To get some other better stuff in the, in the future. Okay, it could be that way, but I think it's this way. So off we go. I see a pillar there. It's hard to see if that's a natural pillar or if somebody's already built it there as a marker. So there's the stuff we were looking at. I'm gonna line myself up with that little path over there. That it will have to come back and help them finish. Hello. Let's try to run straight. Now it won't be uh, straight in this line. Let's run. It'll actually be a little bit over there. So that's why I'm looking, wondering about that 
that spire over there to wait because it doesn't want to show us the world doesn't want to load until we get over there right now from what I hear this village is a mountain village so we'll know if we don't see any uh, big hills or anything if we're going the right wrong right or wrong direction and I think we might be going the wrong direction so far. That's okay. It's a feel of our land, right? Let's jump in the water. It gets dark in the water. And murky. It's a gravel. And there's a pillar. Oh. Probably marking a spot. Yeah. A place. With things. Hmm. A little crafting spot. Handy. Yeah, and our village is back there. Okay. There's the hills. Oh, and there's the village. That's the one that I was thinking about. Let's hope somebody's, yeah, they've been lighting them up good. Excellent. Because I was afraid that these guys would be on their own. And in episode one, you guys seen how being on their own is not good. They need some help, some direction, some protection. <laughs> and here we are. Looks like somebody set up camp. Beetroot. Charcoal. All right. And this is the village. This is the uh, the other side of the kingdom village. Oh, looks like somebody somebody dropped these. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. I thought that was a drop off, but it's just a double one. I wonder if somebody died here. <laughs> uh -huh. Hmm. Well, let's make sure they're safe. And here we go. Yep, they've got lighting. That's good. It's good they got dirt floor and we can maybe fix that for them later. Like we did in some of our other ones. Yep. And they got lighting. That's good. We got at least a torch to keep away all the bad things. Oh, this is a strange, strange one. Hmm. do any harm, right? And this place has a library. Both villages have libraries. Look at that big cliff. Hmm. Have some coffee. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, much better. All right, so farming going on. Looks like the sun's going down again. And the well, right in the river. <laughs> needed but you know that's all right it's kind of different and we got a little dark walkway here yeah that goes right inside the church that way. Yeah. Just like this path is all messed up. Alright. Well, well, we could go to the, over that bed, but we did bring our own bed. Let's use it, I guess. Tonight? Yeah. I guess you can't put it on there. It's got a 
be on the uh, not not uh, pathway. The rough grass. As you see the villagers running inside their homes, they go inside at night to protect themselves. Which is great. Alright, so this is our other village. And it looks like there's already a road been started and excellent. Yeah, so between, there's our village there, and between here and there, that's where the castle's going to go. Let's continue on investigating, making sure they're okay. Yep, we got some light in here, good. Good, good. They've got lots of torches around here. Yeah, we'll give them more. Can never have enough torches in this game. This world needs light, more light. There's a place there too. Mm. But these places are sunk in the ground too, aren't they? Yes, they are. Got a torch in here? You do not. We'll fix that. There you go. Lighting. Alright. Oh, and it seems like a little good population in here, too. Clear out the window here. So whoever takes over this house, the new owner, might enjoy it a little bit more. Now, is there any reason hmm, not to burn with this? Is there something here? Oh, just the top of this house. Okay. out a little bit. See, there's a window. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a mystery what happened in this world. I think that that uh, it's been so long. Somehow we've been transported into the distant future. And the world's overgrown the old world. In some places you can tell, like here, Buried into the ground. Yeah, where this window cannot be appreciated. And now it can once again. Who knows how long it's been in there? <laughs> yeah, we might have to help build that up, but it might not be possible with this here, too. So let's go back inside the church where we were before. Yep, torched up. That's good. Let's check on the other areas. One torch. Might be a good idea. Oh, no, two torches, good. All right. It's not too bad. Let's go on up. Good. Torches on the pillars. Okay. Let's get a, a careful look across the town. Way over there is our beginning town. Way over there. You guys can see that. And right here is the new town, the secondary town. We're going to have to find out the directions to find out, but I think, I think this might be east and west. And there's mountains to the north and south. But I think this is east and west. We'll have to find out in the future. Build a compass or have a look. I think cobblestones do tell us. The little L, so that'd be north. North is that way. Where's our village? Where's our village? Yeah, there's our village. Okay. And that's north. Yeah, so that's east village, and this would be the west village. So there we are. We're, this is the west side of the kingdom. Current west side. We might expand that, of course. Land of Florin. 
All right. Torches. That's good. Might be better off up there, though. But yeah, it works down there. Excellent. Excellent. We have uncovered that a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> hmm. There we go. Yeah, we'll leave that extra one there for now. Might fix that river too. But all things for the future, for now. Because for now, it's just clearing them out a little bit, I think. you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like they might need a door too. Let's double check that. Yeah, that is the entranceway. That is a problem. We're going to have to build them some stairs or something. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, some stairs or something. This is not stairs, it's just a temporary measure. Until we get some stairs built for it. Let's have a look inside. It's got a torch, that's a good sign. Yep, it's got some torches up here, that's good. Down we go. Okay, let's give it a door. Just need one for the moment. side of the church.
Much better. Much better. Not time for bed again. That will do. Yep, just a quick little nap. And all of a sudden it's the next day. <laughs> hmm. Maybe later on we'll come back. Could do it. In the future we'll do lots of building where we just climb up like that. And we put things down. So we'll be able to do all those kinds of things. Decorate it everywhere. Put it up your way back down. Just like so. Improvements, little, little improvements for all these little accidents all over the place. But I like them. They're happy, happy accidents because we can make them our own and make it part of our story, make it part of the things that we changed. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So I'd say that they're pretty safe. You know, we're gonna have to look around the rest of the village a little bit better, right? And they got a good population. Hey guys, hey, hi, hi. Librarians, and clerics, excellent. People who sell paper too, we'll get some, some paper for emeralds. Yeah, emeralds are that game of the money in this world, I think. Hi. You got torches? Yeah, you got torches. You got a good amount of torches, good. good. Seems dark in here, even though there is torches. Probably just because there's two of them. I'll give them one, one bonus one. There you go. Bonus torch for you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, torches on the windows. Everything's looking great. Yep. Yeah. I'll just give them a little bit more torches. Why not? we can do. Maybe we'll add in some uh, back doors to those later and some back windows and things like that. Okay, so let's have a look inside. Yep, they've got a torch. That's really good. Maybe we'll help out at least one of these houses, right? These guys are hanging around, so we'll, we'll fix this one up. There we go. Some lucky owner's getting a new hardwood floor. <laughs> And there's a torch in there, so so these places are all good. That's that's the library. These places are doing great. It's great to know. Don't know if they should take that up. Maybe later we'll, we'll decide what to do if they leave them all buried or half buried, or what to do about all those kinds of things. Yeah. All right. I think they might move the torches up on top too. Gives it just a little bit more of a, a center of town-ish well look when it's got those corners on there. It's not really needed, but it just kind of rounds it off and squares it off. Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. I might as well do that here. Why not? There we go. Look at this little house over here. Isn't that funny? 
Oh yeah, I don't know if we fix this one. Right? This other one's all by itself. Yeah, let's get a torch. Hmm. Well. A bonus hardwood floor. When somebody gets around to coming over here. And there's some more for farming over here. And another farm way up there. Way up there. Fix that. Way up. Way up. Way up. <laughs> Alright. Looks like not everything's grown yet either. But yeah, another farm way up here. side fire and we're gonna have to watch out that they don't fall all around here to their to their demise. <laughs> no. Well here we go. It's just a little bit more lawn there. Why not? Alright. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed that episode too. So we're coming to the end here and we'll start up some uh, new one for episode three. And yeah, our first starting village, and now episode two, the second village. And it's good to see our, our other friends that we'll probably see in some future episodes have already lit up the area very well for us. For them especially. Keep all the zombies away, right? Mm. Yeah. And this is looking great. Looks like it has lots of potential. Gonna make it look wonderful around here. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. I was going to say, it's got two libraries too. This is another library. So both of our towns have two libraries. And this one has a little church, a temple there, which is kind of nice. Yeah, library there, and library there. And it's, yeah, oh yeah, it's the same kind of building, just turned differently. Isn't that interesting? So that's four libraries. So our kingdom really likes stories. Well, that's good, because I'm a storyteller. And we're going to be creating our own story. The wonderful thing about this, this Minecraft world is that we can create our story. It takes time when we're in survival, because we have to survive at the same time. But I think we can handle it, right? We can do it. I can do it. If you're there with me, we can do it together. Hmm. Poisonous potato. Oh, we'll put that over there. <laughs> Don't eat that. And we'll leave an orange tulip. That way they know we were here. And uh, maybe they need some dirt. Yeah, we'll leave them a stack of dirt for you. Just in case they need it. Because we've still got a stack. Okay. Alright. And there's our other town, guys. So we're going to have to decide where to put our castle. Where to put our kingdom. Because that's, um, you know, uh, we looked at that community home back there. And uh, that's just the beginning. Really, we're going to be making a big, giant community home. Yeah. For everybody. For anybody. And people can, can go in there and lots of rooms and places and all kinds of stuff. See what we can make inside a giant kingdom. Oh, giant compared to these villages anyway, I'm sure. So this would be their area. Right around this area. Not that small over there, though. But, by the lay of the land, it'll be somewhere in here. So we're going to have to mark it out, because I think it's going to be, oh, I'm guessing right now, so don't hold me to it, but probably around 101 squares out. And that'll be squared, so 101 in every direction. That way we'll have room for gardens inside, and then we can go up and down into the ground and have a foundation that goes way down. Yeah, so there's the town. And there's the other western town. I think that's western, and that would be eastern town. And this here, this area, standing here in the sun. Yeah, this would all be it, right here, guys. Standing on the future kingdom. We'll be laying the foundation soon. It's hard to say exactly where. Somewhere in this area. Somewhere in this area. There's a swamp just up there, which I think is pretty cool to have in a story. Yep somebody's settlement right there. 
But we don't want it to be too close anyway for that. This nice green grass is what we want for around the settlement, I think, right? I think so. There we go. Perfect. And a river right over there. See if we can build a little boat, a little fishing spot. Yeah, town. Very nice. Hmm. Very nice. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for watching our episode two. We'll see you again next time. I'm the Mizzen Zock. <laughs> thanks for watching. And you can also watch us on our uh, watch me on the uh, on my other gaming channel, uh, YouTube.com/slash/TheMizzenZock. So I'm also there as well. And uh, yeah. Otherwise, thanks for watching on our on our new series on our new channel, episode two. See you back for episode three, everybody. <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. I'm the Missing Sock. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye. Better go to bed. Bedtime. 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 And that malware. There's no monsters. What monsters? No monsters. It's just a dream. It's all just a dream. <laughs> Bye, everybody.